Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Nightcap Gamer. My name is Josh, and tonight, you guessed it, playing some Lord of the Rings Online. We're back. Myself, my good friend Al, our trusty steed smasher. Um, and tonight, we're taking a little detour from the, uh, the uh, book quests, and we're gonna move in uh, to this area to the south of us. I don't even remember what it's called. Harlog? Harlog? I don't know. Um, we need to make an offering of peace to some, uh, what are they? Strange creatures living near the last bridge. Okay, so we're gonna go in. We need to collect some ward furs, first of all. Now, last time we were working on the book quest, it started getting a little tough. I actually tried to record, um, a new episode, and I was just getting beat, because, because, like, I couldn't handle it. Al, I mean, a, a, as strong as he is, as tough as he is, uh, he just couldn't handle it. So we're gonna take out some of these foul wargs. We're gonna sneak right up on him, okay? Just, just slowly, silently. Um, I'm probably gonna pull like four of them at the same time. Uh, it's okay though. It's all right. Al can handle it. These guys are on level, so it's a, it's no big deal. Well, okay, they're two levels above us, but um, I think we can handle it, right? Al, maybe, maybe not. Maybe um, if I pull three of them, I might be in trouble. Al, can you, can you take care of this for me, buddy? Let's, let's, um, riddle that one. There. Okay. Back on track. Using my burglar skills to great effect, except for how I'm almost dying right now. <laughs> oh no! Al! Come on, buddy! Come on! There we go. We can handle this. We're still in control, Al. You and me. We're gonna do this. Okay. Okay. One more. One more to take out in this group. Holy smokes. <laughs> I got a little dicey there for a second. Oh, but we're okay. You know what we need to do? We need to spend some turbine points because I need my bob and weave. I need it. Every time I evade an attack, I get a, a heal over time effect, um, which is very valuable. Um, basically makes me even more powerful. Um, undefeatable, one might say, uh, if you're careful enough, if you're paying attention. Maybe not, but, um, man, I need to do that, so I'll look into that. Maybe next episode we'll take care of that, or I'll have taken care of it by next episode. But you know me. I'm not one to rush things, so we'll see. Okay, we need one more, um, one more warg fur. Is there too many in here? Look, I'm taking too much damage. I'm gonna pull myself right out of stealth. Out of sneak! Out of sneak mode! Not stealth. Um, man, these guys are fearsome looking, aren't they? And he's gonna beat me. He's actually gonna... Let's... Okay. That didn't work. That didn't work. Al, can you run? Can you run? Do I have anything? Morale pushing? Something? <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, look, seriously, I was prepared. I was prepared for this, but, um... At least I thought I was. Okay, these are like the weakest morale potions ever. 112 to 140 initially. Okay. We need to go get some, uh, boar haunches as well. Um, I don't know if I've ever had a boar haunch. Have you guys ever eaten a boar haunch? Is that like their butt? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's, let's go ahead and collect them though. We'll just, we'll just carry the whole boar back. Um, and, the, and then, uh, Frederick or whoever it was that told us to. I think it was Frederick, the elder. Um, he can just cut them all up himself and send us on our way with the haunches, um, and nothing but the haunches. Um, cause sometimes that's all you need, I guess, is just the haunch. And sometimes you need the whole boar. I can't think of a time that you would need the whole boar. Like, guts and all? I don't know. Yeah, cause you, like, you empty them out, you know, before you, before you eat them, right? You empty the boar out? I don't know. Um, I... I I have I have had pork before. Obviously, bacon bacon's a big deal for me. It, it really is. Um, but most other pig-related foods um, are not really uh, my cup of tea. Um, but you know, I could be surprised if somebody makes me like some delicious pig-based meal. Um, but it, it has yet to happen. It has yet to happen. Uh, maybe someday. If you want to send me a, 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 a pig-related meal, pig-based dish, in the mail, um, I won't say no. I won't say no. 
Um, if it's bacon, you know I'm gonna be happy. Uh, if it's not, I'm probably gonna be disappointed, and I'm gonna tell everyone how disappointed I am in you and your 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 pig your pig food, your pig dish. Disgusting pig dish. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Take out some more boars. Let's do this. Oh, I completed Leaf Walker. Is that my uh, sneak? My sneak skill? Whoops. Yes, I've used my sneak skill. I've got. Oh, I got five turbine points too. All right, here we are back in Oscuros. <laughs> Bingo is loaded down with all the the warg furs and the boar haunches that he can that he can carry. Man, Smasher must have had a real time getting over here. And Frederick, um, you're gonna take these. What can I do for you? Okay, we've prepared the offering already. We need to replenish our stock. Oh, look at that! Forty-three crit rating. Um, hmm. I'm gonna lose some agility. But I feel like the crit rating is actually more important at this point. An offering of peace Stay part two. Moment. Deliver the salted meats and furs to the creature's leader. Okay, we can do that. Now there's also another quest I, f I totally forgot about when I got here, which is to um, find Bingo somewhere here in Oscaruth. There he is. Bingo, what are you guys? Hey, Theodore? Bingo? There we go. The journeying hobbit. Figured it out. I knew you would. Yes, I, I did. I, I guess he figured it out before me somehow. That's a nice little pack he's got there. I didn't... Did he always have that? Oh, he's so happy. Okay, Theodore? Listen, the true master treasure seeker is coming out. The treasure seeker. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Haley Meadowsweet. You found me. I have to admit, I am impressed. I knew the truth. Okay, Theodore. I will learn from Haley if she'll have me as a student. All right. Oh, poor Theodore. So crestfallen. Our treasure hunt is at an end, and I am satisfied with its conclusion. Okay, that's fantastic, Our own Bingo. Journey must continue. Okay, he wants to meet me on the last bridge east of Oscaruth. Um and from there, we're going to move on into the Troll Shaws, which I'm not quite ready for yet. We got to do, we got to finish up this area first, and then we can move on to the Troll Shaws. Possibly uh, Evendim. I'm not sure. Evendim is, is like the, the smart choice, because there's so many quests there. There's so much content that we'll easily get to level 40 through there. But Troll Shaws, obviously, we have to do some of the book quests there. Um, but for now, we'll go and deliver these salted meats. Wrapped up in uh, some warg furs, and they can eat the meats, and they can wear the furs, and they can just be really happy. And there's peace all across the land because of me collecting furs and haunches. Look at these guys, they're terrifying. Oh, he's got the Peter Parker haircut. Remember in like uh, number three, Spider Man number three, when he like goes all emo and stuff? Oh man, it's fantastic. Um, oh, look. Kekonen! Kekonen! Holy smokes! Are those your horns? Oh no, it's like... He's wearing like a pack on his on his back. How is that even staying up? That must be so heavy! How do you not fall over? Surely he's just gonna like... Oh, he sounds fearsome. Oh, he's got an itch. He's got a little bit of an itch back there. Uh, I'm not gonna help you with that. Man, I come... Gosh, that's... Awkward position. Al, you should get off your horse. Alright, he wants us to defeat some trolls in the Harlog. I don't know how to say that. Okay, are there any more quests? No? Should we, should we just go down there and defeat some trolls? Let's do it. I think that sounds fun. Um, we've had trouble with trolls in the past. Um, multiple times, actually. Uh, they're pretty tough. Um, but, you know, Al's grown up. He's out in the world now. He's his own man, his own hobbit, rather. Sorry, Al. And uh, he's not afraid of much of anything, really. Um, he's a tough guy. He really is, aren't you, Al? Okay, let's go find some trolls. Man, this is a spooky place. It's so creepy sounding, isn't it? Um, look, there's a Bolt Olog Crusher right over here. Al, you think he can take this guy out? He's got like double your 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 health. Um, but we're gonna give it a go. Oh, did he sense us? No, he didn't. Okay, one, two, 
three. Oh yeah, buddy. You're uh, you're going down. Going down, big boy. Come on, I'm not afraid. I'm definitely not afraid that I'm going to die or get torn apart or maimed. Possibly stepped on by you. Oh, there it goes. I See, I told you. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. All right. Look, one down. That wasn't that wasn't too bad, honestly. Um, are there more of them? Did they just live here in the in the swamp? Oh, look, there's two of them over there. I don't think we should take on two at once. Let's take on this guy. Um, he's all by himself. He's another crusher, so he's probably going to step on us or something like that, which is really rude. Oh, I got a... I got a loot box. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I have some I have some steel keys stored up somewhere. Alright, two down. Three to go. Let's eat some food. Let's eat some cram. Mmm, cram. Pork sausage as well. Ugh. See, I pork pork sausage, I mean I guess that's like normally how sausage is done, right? It's pork? I don't know. I guess they do it different in different areas. Just give me bacon, man. Just give me bacon. Do you think they have troll sausage? Do you think, like, people eat trolls in, in Lord of the Rings? In Middle Earth? You know? I mean, there's so many of them around, apparently, that I'm just leaving, I'm leaving, like, these dead troll bodies, like, all over the swamp. You think somebody would come back and, like, collect the bodies and maybe, like, make something useful out of them? Oh! Gal Rip! That guy looks tough. Let's take on this heaver. Let's let's take this guy down. Oh, he's all green. He's all green. I bet he smells really bad. Galrip looks tough, doesn't he? Holy smokes. Okay. Heaver, you gonna heave anything at us? Oh, there it goes. Giant boulder right on Al's head. Um, I think he can handle it though. He's got a tough noggin. You know what he makes me think of is those guys in um. Gosh, was it Turok, Dinosaur Hunter? On Nintendo 64, I feel like he looks like those the, the main like the green guys. They're like dinosaur mutants or whatever. Oh, he knocked me out, and then he fell on me. Okay, one more troll. Come here, troll. There he is, right there. Our final victim. Oh, he has no idea what's coming, does he? No idea. Sneak around him. We can't really stab him in the back. We'll have to stab him in like the upper thigh or something like that because we can't reach. Oh my gosh! He really walloped us, didn't he? Okay. Come on, Al. Where's those crits? Where's those crits, Al? Come on, buddy. All right, there we go. Five out of five. We need to run back and talk to Kicken then again. So we'll head back there. I got a brand new alcohol to share with you guys tonight. I'm very excited. You're not going to be able to find it anywhere because it's local to where I am at. Uh, it's called Bonfire Rum, and it's released by Witherspoon Distillery in uh, Louisville, Texas. And man, it's delicious. It's all natural cinnamon rum, which cinnamon whiskeys are pretty hot these days. Um, everybody's doing it, you know, the whole fireball craze took off. Um, and then just all these cinnamon whiskeys came up out of nowhere. Uh, but, but these guys do cinnamon rum, and it's all natural. There's nothing like... Oh, look. Why didn't I pick up these quests? Oh, come on! You to this place. I guess he was so tall, I didn't even see the quest ring above him. I should have known. I should have known. Oh, man. Do we have to run back and do more stuff? Let's take the leggings. Come on, Kekonen. Couldn't you have said, like... Have come to help? Told me... Look, we have to defeat Galrip and collect etched stones. Greetings. Okay, okay, yeah. Greetings, greetings, Kekonen. Thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing. We'll run back. We're gonna defeat Galrip and get some etched stones before we head back to Frederick. As I was saying, though, the bonfire rum is just delicious. Um, it really, I, f I feel like the rum really lends itself to the the cinnamon-based liquor. Um, you know, whereas like you know, whiskey has that burn, which is good. Um, rum is, you know, if you don't know, rum is basically made out of sugar, um, or rather molasses and water. And that's it. That's, that's all you need to make rum is, is sugar and water. Um, and man, so the sweetness of the rum just really, I feel like it, it goes very well with the cinnamon. Um, and it tastes delicious. It's like $25 for a bottle. 
uh, pretty affordable and just really tasty. You can make all sorts of mixed drinks with it if you want, or um, oh no, some poor adventurer met their end along with their wagon. Well, maybe the adventurer got away. He just left his wagon. I don't know. We need to find Galrip. Um, I think he was actually over here, not 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 that direction. I don't know why I was going that direction. Galrip? No, if you don't know, Galrip uh, came to uh, be the leader of the trolls uh, because his dad was the leader of the trolls. Um, and his dad before him, and his dad before him. And they were all the leaders of the trolls. It's, uh, you know, it's one of those things. It's like the royal family where they're just always going to be in power. Nothing's ever going to change. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I mean, Galrip has done a pretty good job of leading the trolls so far. Um, he's a tough guy. He doesn't take no for an answer. And you want a strong, powerful leader like that uh, leading your people, right? Um, you don't want him to be some sort of pushover or something. So Galrip, Galrip, Galrip is a tough guy. He really is. Oh, here's Osor. He's going to help me out. I guess he was looking for, um, looking for Galrip as well. Well, Galrip's gone. Sorry, trolls. Um, the troll peoples are no more with a leader. They've lost their leader for good. He'll never sire a son named Galrip. Um, because, you know, his father was named Galrip too. And the trolls are just going to be lost. Lost forever. Lost to the ravages of time. Hey, can people stop attacking my trolls? Come on. I just, I just, okay. It's these minstrels. It's these minstrels every time, man. Oh my gosh. At least I got the etched stones. Okay, we're going to head back to Kekonen because obviously uh, we can't handle this. Um, everyone's just trying to steal our kills. Man, I wanted that, I wanted that troll all for myself because I was going to carry his corpse back to Kekonen. And we're going to cook him up and have a big old feast. Um, maybe just, maybe just the haunches, maybe just the troll haunches. But uh, maybe not. Maybe we just eat the whole thing. I mean, those guys look like they could eat the whole thing, right? Kekonen is just terrifying. He's just terrifying looking. Okay, Kekonen, here we are, back at the Torn Stones, which is a really cool name for this place. Um, what brings you to this place? Okay. Do you come with peaceful words? We did it. We did it. Should we head back? Let's talk to Frederick real quick, and then we'll finish up this episode. All right, Frederick, we made friends with Kekonen. What do you need? Oh, a diplomat's cloak. Uh, it's nothing fancy, I gotta say. Um, some leggings? No, those aren't too great either. Um, let's just take one of these shields, I guess. Um, and we'll sell it off. There we go. So, next time, we'll probably head back and uh, take care of more of the book quests. Um, we're... we're I think we can handle it. I think we can handle it. The gaunt men are pretty tough, but um, we'll go ahead and try it out and we'll see what happens. Um, so until then, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great night. Cheers! Cheers.